Thank you to Warm People for sponsoring this video. Absolutely loving my Scarlet Witch woven blanket, which I am using for a tapestry to film my YouTube videos in front of. This is my favorite from their designs. Extremely versatile. Ever had canned socks before? Well, here are the dungeon pair that I have. Check out their new designs on their website on the screen and don't forget to use my code DRAMA for 20% off your entire purchase. Don't forget to follow warmpeople.co on Instagram for more. Happy shopping! As most of you know by now, the recent trend in the beauty world is getting a Brazilian butt lift, as known as, of course, a BBL. You see people all over social media getting one. You may have even seen this viral Twitter post. B, it's 28 wheelchairs coming off this flight from DR and Delta losing their minds trying to find 28 personnels to push all these surgery bees off the plane. In quotations, Good evening, if you can walk, please walk. And then they go on to show a video of just that. On TikTok more than usual at the moment, it's a lot of people who are trying to spread awareness about getting this surgery, more specifically to really young girls who just cannot wait until they turn 18 years old to then go under the knife for this surgery. I just want to note, however, before we get into more of this video, that I'm not trying to tell people what to do with their bodies nor am I saying don't get a BBL. I just want to spread awareness as much as I can because I do know that I have quite some young impressionable viewers and I want people to make their decisions based on what they want instead of being influenced into thinking they want something that they really don't want. So, how does a BBL work? According to anesthesiaexperts.com, the Brazilian butt lift is a procedure that enhances the buttocks through fat transfer. Excess fat is harvested from other areas of the body, including the abdomen, hips, lower back, and thighs through liposuction. BBL is a popular procedure for those seeking to enhance their bodies. However, with the recent reports of patients' deaths from undergoing BBL, many have now labeled it as the most dangerous cosmetic procedure. Why is getting a BBL deadly though? When the BBL is performed by an unlicensed practitioner using injectables like silicone and fillers instead of fat, intramuscular injections of the grafted fat, which means doing this imposes danger to patients, especially when the cannula is injected deep into the muscle where nerves and vessels lie. Hitting a blood vessel can cause massive fat embroil which can be fatal. A 2015 study, according to theconversation.com, says that the estimated death rate from fat embolism may be as high as one in 3,000, which is scary because this rate of death is far higher than any other cosmetic surgery. So why are there people who are heavily encouraging young people to wait until they turn 18 to get this surgery if it's that risky? And I mean, you know that one saying, Beauty is pain and pain is beauty. Because the beauty standard at the moment is skinny waist, big butt, that is the main reason why this surgery is getting so, so popular at the moment. Especially because you're having influences too. The people who influence you are getting these BBLs and promoting it, their audiences, without the proper education behind it. And I mean, do they have to educate their viewers on something like this? Well, that can be up for debate. The results look too good to pass up for some people as well. And I mean, unfortunately, as much as we talk about the dangers of BBLs, it's like talking about the dangers of doing drugs. People are still going to do them and get BBLs at the end of the day because it's your body, your choice, your life your choice. Jocelyn Kano, an OnlyFans star dubbed the Mexican Kim Kardashian, died on December 7th after traveling to Colombia for a BBL. However, the surgery was botched. Jocelyn was only 29 years old. This botched procedure caused this beautiful woman to pass away at such a young age. But those are the risks that people take because beauty is pain and pain is beauty. I think a main problem I have with this as well is that there is going to be a new beauty standard within the next 10, 15 years. And then what's the new surgery people are going to threaten their own lives for? That people are going to kill themselves over for? I mean, this is a conversation we really need to have because it is scary what people do to look 
beautiful because again you know that saying beauty is in the eye of the beholder and at the end of the day I hope people are doing this for themselves and they're not trying to subject themselves to such a standard that is already unattainable. I really just want to kind of educate my young viewers into knowing that you don't need to get surgeries like this to become beautiful. I mean at the end of the day if you want to wait till you get to the age of 18 and you want to go into the knife and get this procedure then that's up to you because again it's your life your choice but what is beautiful and what is not beautiful is constantly changing day by day but with that said however that's pretty much all I have for today's video please tell me what you think down in the comments section below and with that said beautifuls I will see you in my next video stay safe drink some water get out in the sun and most of all love your fucking selves